Hello everybody, I'm Noby Sweet, and this is another tips and tricks of uh, in the game Volcanoids. And today we're gonna talk about this bad boy, the State Selector. And what does this one do actually? Uh, it took a long time for me to really understand it and use it in the previous build. And uh, now it has actually become a lot simpler. And it, that is really good. So I'm gonna give you an example of when it can be very handy. If you look at my drill ship status over here, you can see I have 45 core slots open, I have zero energy in the bank and we are actually not consuming or producing anything. But we are in a bad state. Without energy we can't do anything. And in later updates of the game we can't even move the drill ship. So if we were close to a volcanic eruption we couldn't even go down to safety so one thing that you can do in that situation is of course go around close all these modules that are opened and open up your uh, power production uh, modules as well and then you will gain energy but I mean that could be tedious work they could be far away from each other and so on so with a state selector you can actually have set preset things of what mod modules should be open and not. So if I now go here and load, you can see things are starting to happen. We are actually closing these modules down here automatically and we should also have opened up these two production up here. Not production but the power production. And now my cat wants to join it. And we can see and now we are making energy. So that is a very easy way to open and closing sets of module in one click. So how do we access this one? Uh, you go to the production station and in here under equipment you can build a state selector. I have already built one so that we can use here. Let's put it here so that we can see it and now we see it says fully packed this means that this one hasn't uh, I haven't saved any preset to this one before so let's see let's and it actually closed this all no that was my I had things closed so let's see I want my production stations up and my production modules up I also want the storage up so we can actually do something if you look here now we yeah we are making some energy they're open and yeah as you can see they are making energy when they need to so this is a decent setup if you want to produce things so now we can actually go here and we can click save and now we see it says it has five opened modules so we have saved these five we can count them to make sure one two three four and five so if I now load this one these three are closing and then if I go and use this one they should be open again and consume production so that is how you can use the state selector to help you along and I must say they are a lot more easier now than in the previous builds. But as you can see we can only use one preset on each state indicator. So you have to remember which state indicator you are using for what purpose. But that's all I'm gonna talk about in this video. A little tutorial on the state selectors. And now I'm also going to try something new here on, on YouTube and let's see if we can actually get a link down here in the video to my previous video. And that is why I'm talking here very long. But I think we can probably round up this video. So I am Nubisweep saying thank you for watching and have a nice day.